Welcome back to another video and well lately I've been receiving a couple of questions about the free weather system uh, that you can download from the Unreal Engine Marketplace which is permanently free and the issue with this is that well it is raining indoors so I made this small little level so basically what I did was just removed all the light things and all that stuff and brought in the weather system itself and uh, made this small little roof now also for this weather system i made sure to enable always rain so that i can so it is basically always raining so now if we would hit play we're gonna wait for a little bit and the rain should start falling there we go we can see rain we can see the hit effects on the ground as well and if we go underneath the roof we can see that well it is still raining and well the roof is not really protecting us and it is basically raining indoors now why is that so usually the particle systems get kind of like attached to the player uh, so that we don't have rain at the other part of the map where nobody is we don't need any extra particles that we can't really see that so they usually get attached to the player itself now also i opened up the c plus plus of this whole thing and if we have a look over here we have this function right here uh, I'm not a like big C++ expert so I might be wrong so if, if I am let me know down in the comment section down below but from what I, what I understand over here here is our snow effects and here are our rain effects and essentially it gets its world position getting set to basically our player's location which is in this case this is actually a variable not actually our player but this does get our pawn it got, does get its uh, world position and then it adds 500 units in the z-axis over here so that's basically what is happening uh, and basically well our particle effect is next to our character and that's why well it's going to be raining indoors now let's try to fix this uh, the first thing that i want to do is actually go ahead and go to the plugin folder of this weather system where we have our effects and I'm actually going to go ahead and copy this so I'm gonna control C and I'm gonna copy this default effect into our actual content browser so that we don't mess with the original files so that the original files would stay untacked just in case if we make a mistake so that we basically have a backup so I'm gonna copy co a copy of the rain is gonna live over here in our content folder now let's select our weather system and let's actually change the property I'm not again I'm not going to change the default one so I just brought in an instance into the level and I'm just going to change the uh, particle system for this specific instance so if I will delete this actor from the level well then I will have to reapply this specific particle system so let's scroll up and let's find our rain Niagara Niagara don't know how to pronounce this properly and we're gonna go ahead and bring this over here actually before we do we can hover over this and it's gonna say the path so we can say that see that it says weather system fx and it's uh, rainfall and if we bring this one over here and drop it it's now gonna say that it is in the game folder which is this location right here okay now that we hit play obviously everything's gonna stay the same there isn't going to be any difference whatsoever it is still going to be raining over here so let's open up our particle system and let's have a look at it so over here we have a bunch of effects we have the rain fog effect we have the rain collision effect we have the rainfall one rainfall two and let's go ahead and let's start to apply these changes so what is very important is finding the location where actually the rain is getting spawned and we have a particle spawn section over here which then includes a cylinder location and this is the location where the particles are actually actually going to be spawned and we have two of those over here as you can see we have some values over here we have the height of the cylinder we have the radius of the cylinder which are perfectly fine but what i do want to change is the offset i want to make sure that the particle is getting spawned way above the character's head so the particle would actually be spawned above the roof that we have so let's go ahead let's experiment with this i know that my roof is roughly 500 units above the character so we might bring this to maybe something like 800 in the offset in the z axis and we're going to do the same thing for the other one as well so now if we would try this again and hit play let's wait for a little bit we can see that there is no rain happening over here well maybe uh, still a little bit though so we maybe want to bring this a little bit higher 
because over here we can see there is a big rain we can see all the hits on the ground but if we go below the roof there are no hits on the ground but the rain is still trying to come through so let's maybe bring this even higher let's make this into 1000 by 1000 one more thing that we need to keep in mind of is the particle lifespan because let's select the main thing which is properties no it should be a lifespan maybe underneath the particle spawn itself there it is we have the lifespan under the initialized particles so over here we have a lifespan of five seconds so you got to make sure that this is long enough uh, because if you will have your particles very high up in the air obviously it's going to take it some time until it falls to the ground so we got to make sure that the lifespan is long enough for these particles to fall to the ground but also remember that the longer the lifespan of this that means that the more particles are going to be in the level at the same time which means well more performance requirements okay uh, with that being said let's see if we fixed it let's try this again with thousand units we're going to work with the fog as well, because obviously we can still see the fog itself as well. And I believe with 1000 units, this seems to be working way better. There's still some rain trying to fall through, but not a lot. So we maybe want to bring this even a little bit higher. But as you can see, here is heavy rain. While over here, well, there is pretty much no rain whatsoever. So I changed the values to 1500 now because there was still a little bit of a rain falling through. So I believe now with 1500, it should be way better. So let's just try this out. Let's see how does it work. And now there should be rain over here. Let's wait till it picks up a little bit. So there we go. As you can see, we have this thing going on. And if we move to over here, can see there is no rain over here whatsoever now the issue now is the fog which I'm not entirely sure what we can really do about this because we're gonna lose it over here as well the fog doesn't really necessarily fall uh, let's have a look at it real quick because we have a lot of things over here we have the add velocity which has the, its minimum values of minus thousand minus thousand uh, Maybe this could work. So let's give this 15,000 as well. And let's see the lifespan of it. I think for this one, we do want to expand it because this velocity should be smaller than the one that we have over here. No, it's not. Okay. So hopefully the fog effect is still going to stay with us because there is a possibility that it might kind of disappear a little bit because we are spawning it very, very high in the air again. So let's see um, the fog well, we can see the fog up there but it's not really too present over here it is starting to come a little bit more but it's gonna be a little bit higher unfortunately I'm not quite sure exactly how we can quickly fix this thing inside of this specific, uh, specific particle system without having to recreate it completely as you can see now over here we no longer have any rain so hopefully this makes a lot of sense to you the particles are getting attached to the character that way saving quite a bit of performance without having it to be spawned anywhere else because for example if we would go to this corner right here i can show you an example if we eject and we go into free fly mode you can see here is rain but if we go over here there is no rain over here still thunder and all the sound effects and all those things uh, but as you can see there is no rain and if we move closer to our character we can see that the rain is actually falling only where our actual character is and it's not falling anywhere else and that's how well usually these effects are getting handled so yeah if you have any other questions let me know let me know down in the comment section below and i will try to help you out and answer those ones as well but for now that's going to be it thank you for watching and i see you in the next one